Okay, this is another section of the cost volume profit analysis chapter and it is going to also use contribution margin to help managers determine um, what the effects of a sales volume change would be. So here's what it does. You have degree of operating leverage is going to be contribution margin divided by net income. So let's first just do that and see what it means. So we've got contribution margin divided by net income. So I'll come over here and I will say 36,000, that's my contribution margin, divided by net income, that's my 12,000. And I find that my degree of operating leverage is 3. So what does a degree of operating leverage of 3 mean? Well, we need to put some numbers to that. So what we would say is we would ask our marketing department, how much do you think sales volume can increase? So we would look for our increase in sales volume. And let's say they say, hey, we think that we can go, make it go up 10%. So what you will then do is say 10% times 3, and then you can say that your net income will go up by 30%. Now, if we thought we were to have an even higher sales volume increase, let's say 15%, then by using the same number we could find out what percent we believe that our net income or what percent our net income will go up given these assumptions. So in that case, it would be... 45%. Alright, so how do we prove this? It's very easy. What we're going to do is we're going to do a contribution margin income statement with the sales volume increase and we will see that our net operating income does go up by, we're going to do the 10% um, one by 30%. So let's do it. Okay, so we have said that our marketing department has told us that our sales are going to increase by 10%. So we'll say 120,000 times 1.10 to increase those by 10%. And then we'll do the same thing for variable expenses. So that will be 84,000 times 1.10. Contribution margin will be calculated as it always is, sales minus variable expenses. And then our fixed expenses do not change in this assumption. And our net income is 15,600. So what we will then do is look to see what was this change. It went from 12 to 15,600 and that was an increase of 3,600 and you can see that that net change is 30 percent because 12,000 times 30 percent equals 3,600 so we have proven that by using the degree of operating leverage we can determine that if sales increase by 10 percent then our net income is expected to increase by 30 percent.